And Abba, this one also interests me because we know that these were the Magi, or kind of the wise men who came from the East. The Bible does not give us their names, their families, or where they come from, but it says three wise men, other versions, from the East who came following the star who went straight to where Jesus was to be born. And along the way, they went to ask Herod, Ukuba, where, in fact, they went to ask around, and those news came into Herod's ears to ask, where is he born? Yeah. The king. Because they never addressed him as the baby. Mm -hmm. But they addressed him as the king, even though he was still a baby. But now to get over the conflict of conflicts, they are here to ask a king about another king. And that is what causes an upset in the life of Herod. Because though Abanabad were not bothered, but who eroded he as a king. A fully grown and adult king was shaken by the news of a baby king. Because he could, he knew that this was the king that was prophesied about. The long awaited Messiah. Yet that he feared for his throne. Because he thought that Christ is on, is here to take over and dethrone him from the physical throne. Ugad, this was a king of another kingdom. Amen. Now, if you look at the events that follow, the Bible says, we wrote he called the chief priests who are now also Privy to the news, so that there is a new king in town. There's a new king in town. There's a new king in town. There's a new king in town. But my lamb is one who is Israel Abba is living under a state of moral and spiritual decay. It has been silent for over 400 years. Everybody doing as they please. But the scholars say that even the temple was so corrupt. That is why the first people to fight and to oppose Christ were the Pharisees. Because
because if you go over the certificate part, they were corrupt. So you know your corruption that is in the church. I don't go here on charge. And we are wanting to preside over a nation, our Elauna, with dictatorship and cruelty. Where do you see this? You see this after he hears the news. He says, because he was so obsessed and he was so shaken to the core by the news of a newly born king. Because no man who told us no man be able to make it. What we are not here now, we are gone. Hallelujah. No more when we are gone, we are not in the sky. But we are not. We are gone. You see, by the turmoil, the chaos is tweed that followed. That we're suggesting that we are not has the upper hand. It has brought curse and death. It's not bringing a blessing. And it's the same thing that happened to Mary. The angel comes to Mary and says, Favored are you amongst all women. But after that, he faces the risk of losing the very engagement. Yeah. After the king pronounces favor, he must run around, go to Egypt. Because sometimes when God comes, he does not wrap himself in the way that we, we are accustomed to. But we are he was shaken. We are he was shaken. Let me tell you this morning, I don't know which Herod you are facing, but he's shaken. I don't know, ma. Go to Herod, but I'm telling you, he's shaken. Because he understands the king that resides in him. More than you understand it. Yes, Lord. Hey, Lord. Who is shaken. It's who goes to the Lord. They are numbered. They are numbered. It might seem as though things are getting even tougher. Let me tell you something. Who is rotten is shaken. He's shaken. He's shaken because this is the king. That has come, that has come to cause this disruption. Yeah. Would I have come to cause a disruption? Mm. To turn the sons against their fathers. Yeah. Because he comes. Yeah. Yeah. Because he comes. Because he comes. Because he Disruption is in the boost hand, I'm not a sass hand. I'm a woman, I'm not a sassman. Is in the boost hands, I'm not a sass hands. I'm was one can we so you cannot, it's impossible. It's impossible. Cannot happen. When it comes, something is bound to give. Something you are was one. You can't. You can't. You can't. And what you want to do is worshiping ancestors in our party. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. It's here to cause a disruption. And you've got to embrace this disruption in order to embrace the blessings that come with this disruption. La la Yesu wamkelo ayo at disrupting pinoze to ask change. Send we na lamchang at atachi. Our past wamkelo Yesu and still remain usicha yonkindo. Always my message Christmas. 
Remember, you used to say, Fisa Kamati. Awkwazi kukwa mgelu yesu kinya yonki ito. And still remain the same. Because it causes disruption in the system. But I want to call you this morning, this is what I'm asking. He was introduced to society. He also went to introduce himself to the shepherds. He went to the shepherds. When, when the angel came, then there was like a, a, a lot of angels, a thousands of angels that appeared to the shepherds. Now, Bible scholars say these were not just any shepherds, these were specialist shepherds. These were shepherds that were looking after the lambs that were going to be used for the sacrifice. Priestly shepherds. Yeah. They were performing a function to support the priests. Looking after the lambs. Because they had to make sure that these lambs are without blame. They are without any blemish. But we as who is introducing himself to this shepherd, and he is, it's a prophetic introduction because he says, the greatest shepherd is in town. Number one. Number two, Nina, you can, Nina, you can only be shepherds, and there can only be lambs separate to the shepherd. But I'm here to introduce a shepherd who's also the lamb. Nina, you can't be priests. You can only be shepherds looking after the lambs in order to support the priests. But I am here to say to you, I am here to introduce the shepherd who is also the lamb, who is also the high priest. Jesus. I am here to say to you, the one who has come, when you accept him, you don't need anything else. Mm. Mm. I am here, Nina, to the priest. He was also introduced to Nicholas because they were the ones who could only enter the Holy of Holies once a year with the blood of the lambs. But he was here to introduce himself as the highest priest, number one, as the priest who is going to enter the Holy of Holies with his own blood. Number one. Number two. And to open an, a, an access without limits. The Kusel or the No, but the king was born. The king was born. Now, I'm tired. To me, so far. I But I'm saying you can take this king. You can take this king. And he will come into your life. And change your life upside down. So that you can be the vessel to fulfill the purposes of God. The king is born. Uerode understood the authority of this baby. He felt that because he knew that this is not just any king, but this is the king who gives authority to other kings. Oh, yes. There is no authority on earth except if it comes from me. He was the king of all kings. Uerode, as I pray, he recognized his office, his authority, what and what he was more than his state in terms of the natural, what the eye could see. He recognized that this was the king of kings. Otherwise, why would he why would he go around and panic and start killing people all around because of a baby? This was no baby, Masadwani. 
this was a disruptor of the norm. I don't know what you're facing this morning, but we are not the one has felt your Jesus. Yeah. And 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 yes, at this point, we are not we are not we are not this thing. But yes, at this point, he did not preach. He did not do anything. He was only an ignorant infant. In the natural, at the very least. Because he did not heal the sick, he did not preach, he did not do anything, he didn't chase Herod, but his presence alone shook Herod a electron in Just the news. I am saying to you, that is why sometimes when you accept all that you need is to have a healthy Jesus inside of you. Could a miracle that respond to your Jesus even before you can talk about him? Yeah. That is why the that is why we ask you. Yeah. You are the salt of the world. The salt, you take a teaspoon of salt, throw it into the pot, and immediately it influences the surroundings. That is why he says to Abraham before Akwabe Akwabe is sort of Komoro, he says, if I find only 50 righteous people, I will not, I will not charge them. Because the presence of the righteous affects the surrounding. Yeah. And this does not say that we must not preach. The fact that we are here. Yeah. Here. Never mind about how. The news that you are hearing about Parklands, how corrupt uh, Parklands is, drugs, this, that, and the other thing. Our presence here, Amen. things could have been worse. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yes, Lord. Our presence causes a blockage yes. in the pipelines of the enemy. Yes. Even before we can pray against it, just our presence. Wherever you are dangerous. That is why the Bible says, when you have Christ, you are not only a conqueror, but you are something more than a conqueror. Yes. I'm sorry, Kamala, I'll leave a task for you read because there is no one word for it. When you have Christ, you are more than a conqueror. You are not in that category. Yes. You are not. Though it might seem as though the enemy is advancing and is winning against you, let me tell you something. Who Lord has been shaken because of your Jesus? Tell us again, your sentence.